One thing that I talk about a lot on this channel is how to go ahead and grow your Instagram through going viral. Well, in this video, I want to show you guys how you can make any piece of content goes viral. Why do some pieces of content go viral and why do others not? This is probably going to be one of my most valuable videos. So I would honestly take notes on this video because this could seriously change the way you think about posting content, what you post and actually help you to make every single post go viral on Instagram and gain thousands of followers. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. If you're new here, or you don't know who I am. My name's Anthony. I run a 1 million follower network on Instagram and I also run an Instagram marketing agency. So I actually do this stuff and this is where I get my information from. All my information is from my very own experiences. I make videos like this to help you take your accounts from zero to hero, show you how to grow, how to monetize and everything else. So if you're trying to do anything on Instagram, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I make a video almost every single day teaching you guys what big influencers and big gurus don't want you to know. So with that said, guys, I also will be giving something away, but I will announce that at the end of the video. So make Make sure you watch this entire video because at the end I will be giving something away and you guys are not going to want to miss out on it. With that said, let's get straight into what are the seven elements that go into a viral piece of content. And if you have at least one or two of these elements in every single piece of content you post, it is going to be hard to not have a piece of content go viral. So guys, seriously take notes and here is number one. The first element to a viral piece of content is what we call a visual spectacle. Okay, it's just a fancy word for a holy crap that's a really nice image visual spectacle is exactly what it is a spectacle is something that people are watching and they, it's something they've never seen before it's something super interesting visually on a visual perspective okay that is, alone is one way to go viral on Instagram and that is probably the most common way that people go viral at least in like travel niches or anything that has to do with like traveling or luxury the way you go viral in that niche is with visual spectacles if you look at a lot of viral travel content a lot of it is stuff that you've never seen before I think there's like, I forget what country it is. Maybe it's Peru, but there's a really viral picture on Instagram that goes viral over and over again, even with different people on the same picture, which is like they're hanging off a cliff and they're like hanging somebody by their hair and you're getting the shot at this perfect angle where you don't know it as the viewer, but where this cliff is and whatever country it is, I read up about it. Um, the cliff is actually only like two feet deep. So they jump off, they like grab the hair, they're hanging somebody, but there's no way they're gonna die, right? But in the picture, it looks like, holy crap, like they're gonna die. So that is a, a, an example of a visual spectacle that will go ahead and go viral time and time again because of how visually spectaculating it is. The second element to viral videos is universality, okay? And this is a little bit of a hard one. This isn't really something you see on Instagram, so I'm not gonna really spend too much time on it, but what it basically means is if you're more so promoting a product, you want to use this in your product where instead of trying to make a viral video of your product, of just people using it, you want to put a thing that's going on in the universe, something that's going on globally that a lot of people easily get behind and throw your product into that equation, okay? So you see a lot of times brands like Coca-Cola, instead of just trying to make a viral video of just people drinking Coca-Cola, it's normally the people that are drinking the soda, promoting their product, are doing something that a lot of people can go ahead and get behind like promoting lifestyle or freedom or anything like that or traveling and when you do something like that it's much easier for a product video to go viral because you are not only promoting your product but you're promoting a certain lifestyle a certain thing that's trending right now that a lot of people can get behind and when you do that it is very easy for you to go viral the third element of virality is called reality. And this is something where it's just using actual real life experiences. A movie is always better when it's based on a true story. And that's why if you can relate this same type of feel in your Instagram content, this is one thing you can add into your content that will actually help it to go viral. People just like real videos more than if they think something might be fake. The fake thing may go viral because it's kind of that visual spectacle, but it doesn't need to be fake. I feel like a lot of people feel like they need to Photoshop their images to really give this entire visual spectacle and it throws off their content to something they don't want it to be kind of like photographers some of you guys want to post those really clean crisp pictures without going ahead and photoshopping them into looking like these crazy visual spectacles instead what you want to do is just implement reality where something is so good but people can tell that it is real for example skydiving having a camera angle or having the video shot in a certain way where people can go ahead and they can tell that it's real and therefore they can vibe with it more it's just like a movie that is based on a true story people just like it more because people like stories. 
The fourth way to go ahead and go viral on Instagram, the fourth viral element is controversy. Guys, this is probably one of my favorite ones and it is one of the easiest ones to go ahead and do on Instagram. If you are in any type of niche that has a lot of controversy behind it, this will be very, very easy for you. What you want to do is use this to go ahead and turn up a stir in the comments section, get people going ahead and being mad at each other and yelling at each other, not promoting violence or anything. But if you can post something controversial, you are just almost bound to go viral. One thing that is very very controversial in let's just say the entrepreneur niche is Bitcoin. If I made a status on my Facebook right now about Bitcoin, I'm gonna get people loving it and I'm gonna get people who hate it, people calling it a scam and people calling it the next best thing. That is a great way for me to go ahead and make an engagement bait post, whether it's my Facebook or my Facebook group to go ahead and get a lot of controversy going. The same thing can be applied to Instagram. For example, if you have a car page and there's a video of a Lamborghini and then you as the sly guy who can go ahead and make this go viral, you capture in the video, wow, look at this Ferrari, you're gonna have a bunch of gearheads in the comment section screaming at you that you don't know what you're talking about and you're a car page and you should know this and now that's not a Lamborghini and you have now just created controversy. You can also do this with capitalizing on trends. If you guys follow World Star Hip Hop, they do this a lot and that is why they're so successful with their Instagram page because they're posting controversial content nonstop all day, which is also why you see a lot of negativity in the media because of controversial topics. It gets clicks, it gets ratings and at the end of the day, what the whole world of media survives on is attention and that's why people will do clickbaity titles. That's why people do clickbait anything, controversy anything, because that's what gets clicks. Number five, this viral element is humor. This one's super easy. This is why uh, if you go to fitness pages, the ones that are posting funny fitness videos or fitness fails, those ones just go so much more viral than kind of before and after transformations. Those ones still go viral, but it's so much easier to go viral with humor. Same thing with memes. If you're posting memes that make people laugh, people get dopamine rushes, okay? That's why people spend all day scrolling through Instagram is because they are waiting to go on that picture that they like, that can make them smile, that can make them laugh, and they get this little dopamine rush. If you can go ahead and post images that make people laugh, that make people smile, that make people's days better, you're going to be feeding them these little drug doses of dopamine and they're going to absolutely love your page, which will increase your engagement, hit the explore page, you're gonna make a ton of people feel good because now your Instagram page is like a dopamine machine and it's just gonna go viral and viral and viral. Humor is one of the easiest elements to incorporate into your content to go even more viral on Instagram. The sixth element is emotion, okay? Emotion is so under rated and it's one of the things that I don't even really see that much on Instagram. The best example that I could give for an emotional viral style video are those videos that you see and, and these aren't even really on Instagram but when they do go on Instagram they go extremely viral but I'm sure you guys have seen those videos of soldiers who get deployed in some war and they come home and they either surprise their wife or they surprise their kid in the middle of class and it goes in completely viral. These videos only go viral because of the fact of how emotional it is. You get to see that kid see their father after three years and they run up and they hug them and people get emotional and they get sad and they go in the comments and they say how beautiful the moment was. That is probably one of the best examples of what an emotional based video is and those go extremely viral. That is super underused on Instagram and if you can go ahead and make a page or incorporate that style of content into your page where you are truly bringing emotions out of people to the point where they could like almost see the video or see the picture, read the caption and literally have tears which I'm sure has happened to some of you guys before. That is one of the greatest things you can do because that will go extremely viral for you. The seventh element of virality is bandwagon, okay? People love to just be bandwagoning. That's why every time the Super Bowl comes around or the World Cup comes around, everybody just starts jumping on teams that their friends like. If you are the type of person who likes to stay on top of trends and you can spot the bandwagons and you can spot the type of memes that are doing well, then you can go ahead and incorporate that into your content and jump on bandwagons, whether that's making fun of the bandwagoners or whether that's giving the bandwagoners something to stand behind. Using bandwagons is one of the easiest types of virality is one of the easiest elements to incorporate to go viral on Instagram. So guys, those are the seven different elements of virality on Instagram. Again, for anything to go viral, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, the news, commercials, like anything media, these are the elements that need to be in the video. You need at least one of these elements. If there are none of these elements in your content, then it is not going to go viral. I think one of the easiest ones that allow you to go viral on Instagram is visual spectacles and humor. Those are the easiest ones for Instagram. It's what most people do. They're is room for the others it's just kind of a little harder to find that style of content but again if you can incorporate at least one 
you're much more likely to go viral than if you don't have any. Because if you don't have any, you're probably never going to go viral. Try to add in one or two of these into each piece of content you do, and you're literally forcing your piece of content to go viral. Guys, I seriously hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys took notes, because this is probably one of my more valuable videos that actually goes into why does certain pieces of content perform? How do you actually make a piece of content go viral? So if you enjoyed this one, please go ahead and drop it a like. I know this probably has been a little bit longer than usual, so please drop it a like. Um, my giveaway is I give away Instagram audits every single week every Monday Wednesday and Friday all that you have to do if you want to win an audit is one subscribe to the channel you have to be subscribed Two, just like this video it takes one second like the video and three leave a comment down below expressing your thoughts what did you think of this video let me know and every Monday Wednesday and Friday I simply pick a random one of you guys from the comment section who commented to win the audit where I completely rip apart your Instagram account show you what you're doing wrong what you're doing right and show you what you have to do to actually go ahead and start growing now if you guys want to take your Instagram really, really seriously. You just want to say like, Anthony, like how did you go ahead and start gaining 10,000 followers per month on all of your Instagram accounts? How did you turn Instagram into a full-time business? Well, I actually just recently put together an entire free Instagram webinar where I expose everything and I show exactly what I do to grow pages and make money from Instagram. If you're interested in that and you're tired of searching through YouTube videos and tired of going ahead and trying to put together puzzle pieces, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and watch that entire webinar and it will teach you everything you need to know about Instagram. And with all that said, guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you enter the audit, make sure you like the video, keep grinding, keep hustling, and I'll see you all on the next one.